the Kells Novices Maiden Hurdle is next, two and a half miles this one. Uh, the top angelic trap for Darren Thompson. Be a leader, David Hooley. Black Peppermint, Paul Parsons. Broombank, Darren Thompson. Ready to go, Padraig Hogan. Try to keep your hat on for Joshua Sutherland. Under orders, Martin Inham. Gold Tiara, Graham Clitterbuck. Market leader, David Robertson. On a notion, Craig Beckwith. And Satin Sheen for John Morgan. 11 of them this time. Facing the starter in this maiden. And away they go. I'm surprised to see some of the big names in this when it's a maiden race as they make their way down to the first of the 12 flights. Shows you how competitive the National One season has been so far when you've got Darren Thompson and Joshua Sutherland in a maiden race in week seven. And David Hooley as well, who's the king of the hurdlers. And they're all safely over the first and heading down to the second. And it's Under Orders who's got the lead. Under Orders in the lead then from On a Notion. And then try and keep your hat on. And Black Peppermint after that one. It would have just been shuffling around trying to settle themselves down, with the exception of this leader, Under Orders, who's clear by four or five. On a notion has now moved through to second for Craig Beckwith in the Royal Blue with the white sleeves, but they're still pretty tightly packed behind this leader. He races downhill towards flight number three with two miles still to go. Skips over that one nicely from try to keep your hat on on the outside of Black Peppermint. Then Satin Sheen and Market lead looking towards the back. Broom Bank is just a back marker. In fact, Darren Thompson's two are the back two as they take the fourth. The under orders continuing to Show the way in front from Black Peppermint in second, and then try and keep your hat on. He's back in third, then Satin Sheen and Market Leaders after that one. Gold Tiara on a notion and Angelic Trap. The leader has been given an easy lead by the rest of them. I'm happy to let it bowl along in front. Over flight five they go. More hurdling, welcome up past the stand, past the winning post, and out for a complete circuit of the track with under orders, four lengths clear of Black Peppermint in second, and then try and keep your hat on in third. Market leader is back in fourth with Gold Tiara on the outside fifth, then bigger leader ready to go is after that one as they get over number six, and they pack again a bit closer to the leader now, and he leads by about three lengths. Black Peppermint and Market Leader sharing second. Then ready to go is in fourth, and the rear John Morgan non front running Satin Sheen moves into fourth now as they take flight number seven. Leader was a bit slow over that one. It maintains the two length to three length lead from Black Peppermint second. Market Leader third. Satin Sheen just run itself into a bit of a cul de sac. Broom Bank is getting a little bit closer. Try and keep your hat on still in the leading group as well chasing the leader that is and then be a leaders after that one angelic trap on the inside on a notion ready to go and finally the grey gold tiara at the back as they they're well inside the final mile now and under orders his lead is down to just two lengths on market leader satin sheen's now got a clear run through and has moved into second as they take number eight and there's a four at the back there gold tiara is gone so rarity of an unseated rider in hurdle race as they get over number nine under orders is being pushed along to maintain this lead. Satin Sheen looks to be going much better in second. Try and keep your hat on. He's now making a move on the outside in third. Angelic Trap is now the one that's got itself trapped in on the inside. Stable mate Broomy Bank is also running straight into a cul de sac as well. Market leader, big leader, Ron and Ocean all being pulled a little bit wide. Black Peppermint has dropped out of it and ready to go. Has never really been in it, but it's under orders. It's two lengths clear from Satin Sheen and try and keep your hat on as they take the third last. The leader jumped that nicely. They're queuing up behind to take him on, though. Under orders leading by two to three from try and keep your hat on on a notion. Then Satin Sheen. This is the second last, and the leader got over it nicely from try and keep your hat on be a leader angelic trap here he comes be a leader now throwing down a big challenge for david hooley but it's under orders racing down towards the final couple of furlongs under orders is still in the lead but now be a leader looms up on the outside there's one more flight to take and be a leader hits the front be a leader takes it up as under orders finally gives way 
They race down towards this final flight. Bigger leader, Angelic Trap on the notion. Try and keep the hat on. Surely between these, over the final flight they go. And it's Bigger leader and a David Hooley horse in the lead with half a furlong to go. And they're queuing up behind. Here comes Angelic Trap with a run. And so too, Market Leader. Bigger leader, he needs to keep being a leader, but he's not going to be because he's got to be caught, is he? Oh, that's close. Bigger leader may just have been a leader long enough to take that. It was mighty close. Darren Thompson's horse was closing with every stride. It looks like Bigger Leader's hung on. I need to be named, renamed Bigger Leader. Just now it's a dead heat, so he didn't even manage to be a leader right to the end. He was a joint leader. So another dead heat then. Bigger Leader for David Hooley and Angelic Trap for Darren Thompson. It certainly looked to me as though Bigger Leader hung on, but. What do I know? Market leader was third for David Rawson. Try and keep your hat on. Joshua Sutherland was fourth. And Satin Sheen for John Morgan was fifth.